If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, and guys, it is time for the Madden 17 budget series. And guys, we're going to get started with the running back position. If you guys are new to this series, this is something that I try to do at the beginning of every year uh, for Madden Ultimate Team, but also kind of throughout the year. So make sure you stop on back. I will probably have a few different budget type episodes throughout the year, depending on, you know, when some of the better content drops so that some of the prices change and things like that. Uh, so do keep in mind, of course, that the guys that are currently on this list probably won't be the best budget guys for the whole year but at least to start the season I want to make sure everybody has a good idea of some of the cards that you can use to kind of make your team better without spending a heck of a lot of coins on them so with that being said guys let's hop right into it we're going to start off at again the running back position first running back that we want to take a look at here on the left side of your screen and this is going to be by far the most expensive of the group today nobody's going to be even close to this David Johnson on the left side of your screen. He is 80 overall. Now, David Johnson was a budget favorite last year in Madden 16 Ultimate Team. And that, of course, continues on into Madden 17 Ultimate Team as well. Kind of surprising they didn't give him just a base elite. I mean, this guy was a beast last year. And he's definitely going, at least for fantasy football purposes, as a first-round pick in most leagues. So, kind of a little bit surprising to me that he isn't at least given a base elite. Now, I know he does have, like, the team hero card, I believe. Uh, but we're looking at the gold here. The 80 overall, and we're going to compare it on the right side of your screen to Le'Veon Bell. Now, what we're looking at here are guys that I would consider to kind of be speed-based backs. Uh, they're also kind of balanced, I guess, because they're pretty good at catching. They're pretty good at uh, breaking tackles, all those different types of things. So uh, we can definitely take a look here at David Johnson and compare him to Le'Veon Bell and see that in a lot of different areas, David Johnson is actually as good or pretty close to as good as Le'Veon Bell, if not better. You take a look at the speed and the acceleration combination. He does have the 89 speed with the 88 acceleration, which makes him faster than Le'Veon Bell, who has the 86 speed with the 89 acceleration. Agility-wise, he's not quite up to par with Le'Veon Bell. They do have the same bar, uh, ball carrier vision, though. Carrying as well, David Johnson's a little bit further behind at an, only an 84. Although I will say I haven't really seen a whole lot of problems with fumbling the ball yet in this game, and that's kind of been a traditional thing with Madden. There hasn't been a lot of fumbling. Um, even with the guys that have lower carrying, typically, at least at the beginning of the year, they're not going up against guys that have super high hit power. So you don't really have to worry as much about fumbling, in my opinion. So uh, continuing on, stiff arm and trucking for David Johnson. Very, very nice as well at an 87 and an 84. His elusiveness isn't anywhere near as much as Le'Veon Bell's. Uh, but he does have some nice other attributes as well. Like I said, uh, you know, it, again, the elusiveness, the spin move, the juke move, not quite up to par with Le'Veon Bell. But he is really good with that stiff arm, the truck on, trucking, uh, and some of the other things that you can do with him. So uh, again, Nice card, 10,000 coins, very, very good base running back. If you're somebody that is looking for uh, just a player to kind of start building your team around, I think David Johnson's a good option. Obviously, the price that I put here on these cards, by the way, guys, this one at right now is at 10,000. Le'Veon Bell, about 70,000. I'm on the PlayStation 4, and I'll tell you guys, there are hardly any cards on the auction block, period, right now. Uh, obviously, the only people that have the game are those who were given the game by EA themselves um, or who have advanced stolen copies for whatever reason. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, it's a very small crop of people right now. Not a lot of people playing the game on the PlayStation 4. So, a lot of these prices are coming from the Xbox version of the people that had the, uh, the early EA access and things like that. But even then, not everybody had that. So I think that the prices are going to fluctuate quite a bit once we get the actual game launched on Tuesday. But for now, again, these prices are going to give you at least a general idea of kind of where these guys are sitting. So let's move on to the second group of running backs here. And again, we're going to take another look at some speed running backs. Now, this one is quite a bit cheaper. This is going to be a silver card. And that's Antone Smith of the Chicago Bears. 69 overall. Well, at least he was of the Chicago Bears last year. Um, now, I believe he's actually still a free agent, if I remember correctly. Now, you're seeing a lot of red on your screen. Now, obviously, if you guys have seen this series before, you know that the red means that the player is lower than the other guy in that attribute. Yellow means they're the same. Green means he's better. Kind of the same thing that they do on Madden. But 
Obviously, Anton Smith is not as good as Jamal Charles. He's not as good in anything. But he's actually right up there in a lot of these attributes, the ones that we really, really care about. So if you look at speed and acceleration, he's one lower in speed and the same in acceleration as Jamal Charles. And he's actually really similar to him in a lot of other attributes as well. The agility, he's only one lower than Jamal Charles. Ball carrier vision, he's quite a bit lower, obviously. Um, the stiff arm, the trucking, those things. You're not going to have a guy like Anton Smith, the speed silver running back, have any of those types of attributes. But where he is actually really similar is that he's very close to him in elusiveness he's only three lower and in juking he's only four lower so he's got a lot of those same speed type maneuvers that you would use if i'm using anton smith i realize that he's not going to be great in uh you know running over linebackers and things like that and i want to juke around guys i want to use that speed and the acceleration the elusiveness things like that so again for a, a thousand to fifteen hundred coins you can get this card that's only a 69 overall but he's actually going to do a pretty good job for if you're looking for a guy to, to uh, kind of use in solo challenges and things like that, I would definitely recommend this card. I think he's a really great base running back that's super, super cheap and somebody that you're probably going to be able to keep for at least a couple weeks here until some of the better cards start to come out. So uh, even if you're complimenting him with another running back, this is a guy to have on your team to at least be out there for, you know, situational uh, plays and things like that. So again, obviously not anywhere near as good as Jamal Charles, He's but he's 130th of the, of the price. So uh, definitely a good value there on that. Uh, next guys we're gonna go away from the speed backs we're actually gonna go completely in the opposite direction we're gonna take a look at some power running backs here these guys are the ones that can lower the boom on those linebackers and pick up the extra yardage i will say I have seen trucking, I have seen stiff arm, I have seen all kinds of things like that come into play in Madden 17 to start this year, and I'm actually liking it a lot, man. I, I definitely like the ability to actually run over a guy and make it so that I don't just fall to the ground. Um, it, it's a big advantage, man. It really, really is to be able to use a power running back. So guys like Eddie Lacy and, um, you know, obviously if there's a Marshawn Lynch that comes out this year, a, a legend of some form or something like that. Those guys are going to be beasts for doing these types of things. Um, and obviously, the guys that you see on your screen here, they have that ability as well. On the left side of your screen, we've got Chris Ivory. He's going for about 2,500 coins. He's a 76 overall gold. And on the right side, we have the running back that most people would say right now uh, is probably the best running back. Now, obviously, there's the upgraded version of Adrian Peterson that you get that is only a trial version once you do the gauntlet, once you get through that running portion of the gauntlet. But if you're just looking at base running backs, you could make it the case, certainly, that Adrian Peterson's the best running back in the game. Right now, I've seen him going for as cheap as 45,000 coins, so that's what I priced him at, but I wouldn't be surprised if he goes up quite a bit once the game launches, because again, I think he's probably the best running back in the game right now overall. But with that being said, I mean, we're taking a look at Chris Ivory, who is a, a very similar card to what you're seeing here with Adrian Peterson in a lot of ways. He's actually a little bit faster with acceleration. He is too lower on speed, but they're very, very very comparable to one another in that department carrying he's actually higher we talked about carrying not being as important but if you are somebody that is going to be lowering the boom and just running straight at linebackers you kind of want to be able to have good carrying so that's pretty important i think for these specific players adrian peterson actually only has an 82 for carrying so that's actually kind of a detrimental uh, attribute of his but other than that adrian's obviously pretty stacked at just about everything else Ball carrier vision, he's not, Chris Ivory's not going to stack up to Adrian Peterson in there. But where these two, where he actually is very, very good, uh, these two attributes, stiff arm and trucking, 92 for his stiff arm, 91 for trucking. So the same as Adrian in trucking, and actually one higher with his stiff arm. And his strength is also, again, very good with an 83, that speed and the acceleration combination. I mean, you're looking at a guy who is definitely somebody that can run between the tackles and pick up nice yardage. So I'm, I'm a big fan of this Chris Ivory card. I think if I'm looking for a, a power running back, this is the guy that I'm looking for, man. And you can get him for super, super cheap. Then you combine him with Antone Smith. You're paying about 4,000 coins for two running backs, man. That's pretty damn cheap. And especially if you're just going through your solo challenges, these guys are going to be a good duo for you. I, I really believe that. So uh, definitely take a look at them. Even if you end up not liking them, it's a pretty cheap thing to sell back. So not a big investment there on these uh, budget running backs. Now let's move on to the last category of running backs. And it's ones that I find to be pretty important. I think a lot of people, uh, they come out and they pass the ball 80% 
percent of the time in Madden. Now this year, I do believe that we want to run the ball a little bit more than that, at least at the start of the year before we start to see kind of some uh, big attribute boost for the defensive players when we start to get team of the weeks and things like that. Uh, but up until that point, at least, I believe that running the ball is going to be extremely relevant in this game. And that's why I, I like the guys that can do both. And that's why I really like uh, Charles Sims here. This is actually the running back that I'm using right now. So Charles Sims, 87 speed, 88 acceleration. So he's actually pretty quick. He's not going to be as fast as the guy on the right side of the screen, which is LaShawn McCoy. This is his signature card. That card's going for 115000 though. Very, very expensive, whereas Charles Sims, the gold version, 77 overall, he's only going for about 3,500 coins. I think I got mine for 3,000, so very, very cheap, but he has a lot of these attributes that I really look for in my running backs. He's got, uh, again, nice speed and acceleration combination, not as fast as, obviously, the, the McCoy, but still very good. Um, he has decent agility, decent ball carrier vision, decent carrying. It's not great, only an 82, but I haven't fumbled with him even once yet, so again, I don't find that to be very important at all so i'm not really too worried about it but what i like about this charles sims is that he's also a really nice receiver he's got 71 catching which is the same as Lashawn mccoy um and then he also has nice route running at a 75 for a running back that's pretty good it's not obviously matching up with Lashawn mccoy who's one of the best route running running backs in the league but he does charles sims does have actually better catch in traffic and he actually has better spectacular catch as well so that's something that i was a little bit surprised by but it's definitely something that you can take advantage of uh you, he, again the speed the acceleration combination combined with his receiving attributes makes him a pretty nice weapon out of your backfield especially for third downs and things like that so again i really like this charles sims card i think he's probably my favorite budget running back right now and for 35 500 coins i mean it's hard to really miss I, I don't think that you can do much better than this right now for 3500 coins so again charles sims definitely try him out see what you think and last but not least guys i want to recommend this card to you on the left side of your screen danny woodhead again if you're somebody that passes the ball almost every single play but you don't want to go five wide Danny Woodhead's going to be a pretty good option for you, I think, because he kind of combines a lot of the things that we find to be important. Now, he's not a power back at all. I mean, those attributes, 59 stiff arm, 49 trucking, and 55 strength, that's awful. Don't get me wrong. Those attributes are really, really bad for a running back, but... He's pretty good at the other attributes. 86 speed is it's decent right now for this point in Ultimate Team. The 90 acceleration, though, is a, is a really nice attribute. He has great agility at an 89. His carrying solid with an 86. He actually has good ball carrier vision as well with an 89. And you take a look at some of these other attributes. 87 elusiveness, 85 spin move, 85 juke move as well. That catching at a 75. The route running is an 86. That is ridiculously high for a running back catching in traffic in 81 and then still a 74 spectacular catch now Danny Woodhead is very very short so you're not going to want to throw up aggressive catches to this guy but it, he can definitely do a nice job for you coming up with some good catches especially uh, if you're throwing him out of the backfield on out routes and things like that uh, this is a guy who can do some damage against defenses and again he's 76 overall so he's very very cheap right now he's going for about a thousand coins you can get him for very very cheap you can basically do one solo and get Danny Woodhead and if you compare him to Matt Forte who he's pretty similar to in most of these attributes if not better or maybe slightly worse in most of them uh, he's 1 20th of the price now obviously Matt Forte has that trucking in the stiff arm to be viable in those areas but other than that he's pretty similar to Danny Woodhead so uh, I would definitely say that Matt Forte is not worth 20 times as much as Danny Woodhead on the auction block but that's what they're going for right now so with that being said, guys, those are your top five budget running backs to start the Madden 17 Ultimate Season. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and guys, let me know in the comment section below, who are some other budget running backs that you're really liking right now? What, what do you like about them? Are there some certain attributes that you're looking for right now in your budget running backs? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much, and also let me know what position do you want to see next? I, I have a couple positions in mind, but I want to hear from you guys if there's something specific that you want me to look into, and I would be glad to make that video first. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you again soon.